I'm talking today to John Banks, Director of Learning for human resources company Talent2. John and I will be talking about current trends in human resources, in particular how businesses can improve their use of human capital during these tough times. John, given the global financial crisis and the fact that many corporates in particular have shed labour and there are many other business operators out there who are having to consider whether they need to uh, shed staff, what sort of measures would I as a business operator need to consider? Most organisations have done the work on the brand, the product and, and uh, logistics, but what about the people? The people issues have a need to be addressed and most CEOs and senior management instinctively know that the people issues have not been handled particularly effectively. And there are many examples around training spend and a whole range of other HR activity that um, hopefully managed more effectively will not only give you a bigger bang for your buck but it will increase efficiency and effectiveness within the organisation and give you that um, market edge. Also you need to look at costs generally in, in, within the business and look at where you can reduce costs and um, that may mean taking people um, off a five day week, it may mean making some people redundant. But, but looking at a cost, looking at costs across a whole range of uh, activity within your business is, is essential. Many business operators tend to spend in the order of 36% of their revenue on their employees. And their employees are obviously their most valuable asset. How can I best maximise or improve this human capital? The first thing that I think you need to do as an organisation is to understand what you're doing well at this moment in time, but also to understand what you are going to do in the future. Where is your market and how do you get there? Once you've been able to establish that, it is a matter of what skills and competencies do you require within your business to enable you to do that. So you need to look at those people that are going to be essential to you to help you through the recovery. Hiring is a two-way street and it's important that you are able to attract uh, and uh, retain uh, the individuals that you're looking for. So you have to understand your culture, the competencies that you're, you're looking for and be able to articulate to potential employees your offering. What sort of measures can I employ as a business operator during these turbulent times? collect data. You, you need to know what you're doing well as a business and you need to know what you're not doing well. There is this theory that um, most, most managers are only 50% effective and that if they spent their time full time on doing only what is effective we would be in a much better space. Elements of HR are still ineffective within business and instinctively many CEOs and senior managers understand that and they're reviewing, they're taking this opportunity to review that activity and that, that can include looking at the training spend for instance. You know, in this, in this country we spend four billion dollars on, on training and it's assumed or assessed that um, only about 30 percent of that is effective. So there's a huge opportunity to look at not only making your organisation more effective through training, development and learning, but saving truckloads of money. What sort of measures can I take as a business operator to prepare myself for that economic recovery when it does return? We are going to come out of this and you've got to be ready and we have to be effective and efficient and that whole human resources activity needs to be a, um, an effective support. I mean as we come out of this economy most CEOs will be now thinking how do I get that edge and take more market share because if there isn't a big, bigger market and a bigger pond you need, you need a bigger chunk of that. In six months or nine months you'll be desperate for new skills and new people and if you are seen to be an organisation that has not handled this uh, period well, um, you're not going to be able to attract those people. You, you will have damaged your reputation.